Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. The subject of my vlog today is the five disadvantages of dating or marrying a Filipino. But before I get started, let me welcome my new viewers and new subscribers. Your kindness, your generosity, your support of my channel has truly been amazing. I never take that for granted. I'm a 58-year-old American who grew tired of the rat race and decided to move to the Philippines in search of a new life. Well, I found that new life and I want to share with you my boots on the ground experiences the only way I know how. By giving you the nitty gritty, it's exactly what I'm seeing, what I'm living, what I'm experiencing. Never going to sugarcoat that, it's not going to start today. Five disadvantages of dating or marrying a Filipino. Uh, I'm going to put this disclaimer out there. I'm not trying to discourage anyone from dating or marrying a Filipino. Uh, the advantages far outweigh any disadvantages, but because nothing and no one is perfect. There are some disadvantages, and this is just the way I see it. I'm always gonna give you the 360, and there's nothing that cannot be overcome by love. All right, so let's get started. Number one, and this is in no particular order, you're gonna be in a long, long, long distance relationship. This just isn't the typical long distance relationship. Unless you live in Asia, unless you live in the western part of Australia, you've got a long way to come over here. You have to cross the international timeline. You're going to rock it 12 hours into the future. It's a long way, so when you miss it, it's not like you're in Chicago. You just get on a plane and be in L.A. in four or five hours. No, it's a long way. This is a long, long, long distance relationship, and it's a disadvantage because you live so far apart. So that's the number one, the first rather, disadvantage, disadvantage that I see of dating a Filipino. Number two is you will never know if she really loves you or not. Let's face it, whenever you date a woman in the Philippines or anywhere where there's poverty the way it is over here, the economic situation is uh, the way it is. You're never really going to know because a lot of women over here, they date and marry foreigners for survival. It's all about a better life. It's all about opportunities. It's all about what you can do for them. And Filipinas remember they're great actresses and they have great patience. They can wait you out. They can sit there for 10, 12, 15 years and you would never know whether they love you or not. So that's the second disadvantage. The third disadvantage, as I see it, is you're always going to be on the outside looking in. Okay, they lump all foreigners into the same basket and there's a lot of mistrust when it comes to Filipinos and foreigners and who blames them? Look at their history. Americans, Japanese, Chinese, the Spanish. We fucked the Filipinos over. I don't sugarcoat nothing on my channel, okay? That's why Filipinos are such unicorns in my uh, view. Because they love people who they have no business loving. They welcome people into their country that they have no business welcoming. That's what makes them so great in my eyes. But it's a disadvantage. You're always going to be on the outside looking in at the family, you know, because you're just going to be that foreigner. That's what they call us over here. I don't care if you're Japanese, Chinese, American, Australian, Swedish, you're just a foreigner. All right, I've been through it. I've got a son 10, a son 9, and their families. I mean, if I showed up tonight, it's, they're going to treat me as if it's the first time they ever saw me. And, you know, it's just something that, it's a disadvantage, you know, and... Everybody wants to fit in. Everyone wants to be a part of the family. But over here, it's just, it's different, man. It takes, it takes a long time to do that, if ever. And that's a disadvantage. Uh, the fourth disadvantage, as I see it, is you're going to spend the whole time proving yourself. Having to prove yourself over and over and over again. Because remember, all foreigners are the same. It's up to you to prove to her that you're not like everybody else. That you're not over here trying to exploit her, trying to take advantage of her, trying to use her. So, you're going to spend the whole time. Who wants that? That's a disadvantage to me. You can overcome that, but that's a disadvantage, man. I ran into that 
with my American wife. No matter what I did, it was never enough. I was always trying to prove myself. You know, even after 16 years, you know, all you want me for is sex. Really? We've been together 16 years. We got a house, two businesses, four daughters, and you still, see, uh, so that's a disadvantage. And, and with Filipinos, you're going to go through that. You're going to have to prove yourself over and over and over again. Uh, nothing you do is going to be good enough. Uh, and it kind of leads into this next one. She's always going to be looking for a reason to leave. You get one mistake with Philippines and that's it. There's no talking it over. Because see that language barrier comes in. You know, uh, you got to be perfect. Anything less than perfect as a foreigner. And they're not going to tolerate that. You're, you're not a Filipino man. You're a foreigner. So you have to be perfect in every way. If you make one mistake, she's gone. Don't cheat. I don't care how long you've been with her. For 20 years, you know, uh, don't fall short one time. I've lived it, man. I'm telling you now. I suffered when I first came over here from anxiety. It's gone now, but... And my first two relationships, they just couldn't deal with that. It was an excuse. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I was weak. And I, ne I, I never could really explain to them what was going on with me. I had to be perfect. You know, and after a while, it gets old. It gets tired. You know, I'm just a human being like everybody else. You know, it almost gets to the point where you're going to start feeling like you're dating people in the West again. Like, I'm supposed to put up with with all your uh, character defects, but I'm supposed to be perfect. You know, so, yeah, those, those are five disadvantages. And I'm not repeating myself, guys. I just have a conversation with, with my viewers. And at the end, I always do a summary. I always go back over what I talked about. You know, guys, you know... This isn't a rehearsed speech or nothing. We're having a conversation, guys. Y'all beat me up with that stuff. Oh, you repeated yourself. We're just talking, man. That's all I'm doing. Sharing with you my boots on the ground experiences the way I see it. Number one is you're in a long, long, long distance relationship, man. You're not. She doesn't live in California. You live in Chicago. She lives on the other side of the planet. You just can't get on a plane and then boom, you're here. You're going to miss each other. It's a lot that you have to overcome, man. You know, in any long distance relationship, but when you're that far, you got to cross the international timeline. You're 12 hours behind her. You know, I'm going to tell you, man, it's tough. It's a disadvantage. When you're, okay, right now it's about 6.30 here in the evening. It's 6.30 in the morning in Louisville, Kentucky, where I'm from. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, a disadvantage. You're never going to know if the Filipino loves you or not. See, because a lot of women over here, they love... For survival they marry for survival you know it's all about what you can do for them the opportunity the new life the money and everything like that i mean it's just how it is that's the nitty-gritty man i'm not picking on anybody i'm not looking down on me anybody i'm just telling you that's a, that's a disadvantage she's a great actress she has great patience they can sit in a marriage 10 12 15 years man you know and you'll never know if she loves you or not. You're always going to be on the outside looking in. You're just a foreigner. I don't care if you're Chinese, Japanese, Asian, I mean, you know, Australian, New Zealand, American. <coughs> excuse me. They, all, they lump us all into one, you know, uh, bucket. You know, so you're always going to be on the outside looking in. You're never going to be totally accepted. All right. Number four is you're going to spend your whole time trying to prove yourself all right that you're different from all the other foreigners they mistrust there's a lot of mistrust between foreigners and filipinos and it goes back in their history they've been fucked over by americans by japanese chinese spanish they have every right not to trust your ass when you get over here and you're going to spend the rest of your life proving that over and over again it gets tired it gets old man you know, I dealt with that with my marriage in America. No matter what I did, it's not enough. You know, every day you got to prove yourself. I'm not over here to exploit you. I'm not over here to use you. I take advantage of you, all right? And then <clears throat> it kind of leads into the last one. As I see it, she's always looking for a reason to leave. You got to be perfect. You get one mistake, basically. You know, once, you know, the dust settles and she's in a position where, you know, uh, where she wants to be you're going to get one chance 
you got to be perfect. If not, she's gone, and I don't care how long it's been. I looked at, you know, after I got finished playing tennis today, I was drinking my coffee in the park. I'm looking at my YouTube and came across uh, a young lady that I respect. I like her channel. I won't say her name, but her blog was going to be, other than cheating, what is something else that will make you leave a relationship? And see, this is coming from a Filipina. And I was like, wow, that's going to go right into what I'm going to talk about today. See, you know, the, we're, we're cheating. We're having an affair just one time dissolve and ruin a 20-year relationship, a 15-year relationship, no matter what you've done. You know, because see, well, things have a tendency to forget, you know, about all the sacrifices and all the help that you gave her. Once she gets into that position, see, where she's got what she wants, you know, and she's better off than she was when you met her. See, you get one chance, and that's it, guys. So thank you so much for stopping by. Again, I'm not trying to discourage anybody. It's nothing that love can't overcome. No one's perfect. No situation's perfect. All right? The advantages far outweigh the disadvantages, but there's some advantage, disadvantages as I see it. And I gave you five of them. There's more. But I don't waste people's time with the foolishness, all the age gap, all the language, all the culture, stuff that you should know already. I try to go just a little bit deeper, man, to let you look uh, at this whole thing and say, hey, you know, is it for me? Because it's not for everybody. Some of us have more. No, some of us have no business over here. All right. So thank you so much. Being in America, it's early. You're just now getting up. You're getting ready to go to work. You're getting ready to go get that cup of coffee, the newspaper. You see somebody on the street, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink. Give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's almost 7 p.m. So, you know, you see it's dark already. And I did this video now because I do my videos when they come across my mind. See, nothing's rehearsed. Nothing's scripted. I get it from the ether, and I give it to you. Uh, I hope you help somebody. I hope you intentionally went out and helped somebody today. I'll tell you over and over the struggles, not just in the Philippines, but around the world with these lockdowns and everything that's going on. And I tell you what, the businesses here, the mom and pop businesses are getting slammed. And people need our help over here, man, because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves take care. Stay safe, stay COVID free. I'll see you next time. I'll have an update, which will be uh, somewhere around 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. Saturday in the Philippines. So it'll be late night, early morning in America, depending on where you live and around the world. So take care, stay safe, stay COVID free, guys. See you next time.